hello welcome back to my channel so i already started my foundation and this time around i'm starting off with a new foundation that i recently purchased by fancy beauty um i'm gonna i'm using this foundation right here the fancy beauty it's not the matte one it's the pro filter in 470 and i don't know sometimes it looks a bit red on me, but other times I feel like it just blends really well with my skin. See? How it just melted in. But yeah, and I already did my eyebrows. I was just like, might as well just click and film a video for you guys. Since I haven't been on here in a while. So how has everybody's week been comment below and let me know but this is how my face is looking and i feel like it looks so good i went i went in on my eyebrows around it as you can see it's not blended in yet but i use the girl pro concealer in the color beautiful bronze and then like i went around and i try to blend it out with the excess of the foundation that I have on my brush and I feel like it came out pretty decent original concealer in the color dark 5w and I really like it too but you guys know I never really use like one concealer I always like <laughs> put more than one concealer I don't know why. Let that sit and then move on. But my other concealers that I would like to wear. Outside music. It's definitely the weekend. And I'll put some down my nose. So you guys, update. I had to take the um the vaccine. Like my job is mandating it. And I don't know how I feel about it. Like I know how I feel. I don't really want to be It's like <sighs> So, I feel like I shouldn't be forced to do something I don't personally want to do. And I feel like that's what this mandate have um done it forced me it's forcing me i have until september 27th monday to take my first dose of the vaccine or else i will be on a 14 unpaid leave of absence and then i will have to like if i don't take it then i'm fired essentially so i'm gonna be taking the johnson and johnson one and yeah, that's all I can do. I have to take it, which is annoying, but I have to make money, honey. And oh yeah, my my wardrobe door is open. Don't mind that. But yeah, I have to take it and like I'm just so annoyed about it. See, look, now that my um foundation is darker, you can barely even see my contour. But whatever, you know what I'm gonna order? I'm gonna order the 460 and just combine it and see what color I get. Cause right now Fenty is having a sale, if you guys know. The early access just ended and now they're having 25% um, off for everybody else. So yeah, I'm gonna order something. I should've ordered when it was 30% off cause I had that. But indecisive people like me who waited too long. So that's gone. But back to the vaccine. I'm like very passionate about not, you know, putting something in my body that I don't want to put in my body right now. It's not saying that I'm not going to get the vaccine because, of course, I was going to eventually get the vaccine, you know. But 
I just hate that I'm being forced. It's just like the whole abortion situation that's going on and stuff like that. That's that's annoying. But hold on, I'll be right back. But yeah, that's how I personally feel. I feel like I shouldn't be forced to do something right now. Like, at all. What happened to free will? What happened to my body, my choice? What happened to those words? That the president himself said that he would never force nobody to take no vaccine. And now look, you're not being forced. I mean, it's not necessarily forced, but our hands are tied. Like, if I'm not an entrepreneur, you know, and, and, and like restaurants are requiring it now, hotels are required. Like, if you don't have your vaccine, you can't even go in a hotel. Like, a lot of places outside dining too but yeah i'm gonna get it but yeah i don't know but my mom is here so you may hear her in the background because she got the vaccine and you know like when people <laughs> that has a vaccine I feel like they don't understand what like I feel like some people understand but they don't they some I don't know I really don't know I'm very indecisive but I'm getting it I'm getting it this is kind of this kind of feels like my diary <laughs> like I can talk to you you know I'm gonna go and make my elf my food <sighs> But yeah, vaccine, so much situation over a, a vaccine. But I get it, herd immunity, you know, you want everybody to have herd immunity, but also it should be like your choice, my body, my choice, free will, et cetera, and all that. But I'm getting it. I'm getting a Johnson & Johnson one, one shot, and I researched it enough, so I feel comfortable getting that one. So, yeah. Let's hope I don't have any really terrible side effects, because one thing about me and my body, I feel like I'm allergic to, like, everything, like... <laughs> Like I'm like allergic to like everything, but I'm getting it. So that's a little bit about what I've been going through. Let's see, I just want some lightness over here. Ooh, it's coming out good, child. That concealer was really good. Uh, that concealer mix so i mix the the bare minerals and elf where's the elf concealer that i just used elf right here and it came out really good elf color is deep chestnut and it came out really good i'm gonna put some right here too just to shape out the contour It's the same, you know, it's the same thing that's going on with the whole uh, abortion. They, they want to take, I feel like they want control over stuff they should have control over. But that's just my opinion. This is in the United States of America. We should have our free right, our rights, free will free will to do whatever we want to do with our bodies like they don't regulate like the piercings we put on it we, they don't regulate the tattoos we, we put on it why you why you y'all don't regulate the food we put in it barely like there's always something talking about oh this is if you have eight in this do that this that that's not being regulated so why is this vaccine me not getting a vaccine affecting you but 
forever. I'm gonna get it. Let me go and get my. And I, okay, don't get me wrong. There are people who don't have the vaccine that don't wear their mask. That's another thing. Like, why is people not wear? Like, I feel like they lift that mandate real quick. The whole mask mandate. I wear my mask all the time. Some people have never even seen my face at my job. <laughs> That's how much I, I wear my mask. I just be so scared. Like if anybody coughs, I'm just like, if anybody sneezes the wrong way, I'm just like, <laughs> if anybody talks too close, I'm just like, you know, all this new thing I've been doing is I mix my L'Oreal Marcier and my Aerospun together. And it's, girl, try it. I love it. So literally, it's right in here. See? And I'm going to mix it together. Like a, a back of one of these brushes. But yeah. That's my opinion on the whole vaccine. Get it if you get it. Get it if you want it. But I feel like it shouldn't be forced. Like yesterday, I, I mean, not yesterday, but last weekend I went out. And the first thing they asked me, do you have your vaccine? Like, whoa. Why are you so obsessed with my health, my medical health records? Like, you didn't ask me if I have my measles vaccine or my flu vaccine. That's very weird. But. Welcome to the United States of America. Right? But let me not talk too much so I get in trouble. And I feel like, you know, uh, this concealer is not creasing. Like, how am I, uh, like, ooh, this combination is going to be it. Put my powder. Where did I get the mixing of the powder from? I don't even know. But I love it. Oh my god, I'm gonna also do an eye. I today. I, I look. Alicia's gonna be giving an I look today. And I understand, I don't know, this vaccine is like really, and this whole situation that's going on is really a lot. My contour brush that I usually use broke. <laughs> so I'm literally gonna be like this, but it's okay. Back to camera. So I'm going in with my Mocha Mommy. Definitely pick this up during the Fenty Beauty sale. The right now is 25% off. Like, come on now. You can't beat that. And, like, even the stuff there that's on sale is still coming off as 25% off. So the foundation that I have, I bought it when it was on sale. It's still on sale at Sephora for, like, $18. But right now, it's still on sale on a Fenty Beauty website. So you can still get it for like, how much How much did it come to? Like $16, $2 off. Like, get it? Money is money. Percentage off is a percentage off. So yeah. And then, you know, what's next? After I dust this off, what's the next step? Highlights. 
<laughs> I just rebraided my hair last night. And no, the parting is not. <laughs> the parting is definitely not, you know, perfect. <laughs> But it's I also want to try getting into blush more. Okay, y'all want to hold? Oh, girl. Let me tell you. So yesterday I went to this um update on my hair situation. So yesterday I went to this hair boutique called Pretty Pro Pretty Proper. It's located in the Bronx. They have lo they have a location in the Bronx, Brooklyn, and in Queens. And when I tell you the customer service was giving, and I got my wig, and the quality seems good right now but i'm gonna let y'all know down the line how it is and i booked my appointment with my hairstylist the one that i normally go to but i'm trying to change it i need to change it to a different time i need to do that i need to do that today because i'm supposed to be going to chicago and like my flight is literally I booked it for six and my flight is at eight. So that means something is gonna be missed. Having my flight. Can't have that. So I'm gonna have to change my appointment to another date. But I really wanted to do on a date that I was leaving, but no, whatever. Wanna go on vacation with fresh hair? I'm gonna be like this because it's gonna be my first time with my little frontal because I always get closures, so it's gonna be my first time doing a little frontal. I'm gonna be like this, <laughs> and I have my headband ready. Let me show you my headband. This is the headband I'm waiting to wear with my frontal. <laughs> Look at this headband. It's going to be like with my baby hairs. And I got it from TJ Maxx. Look at this. Beautiful. I can't wait. Now, there's my brush. Where's my brush? Sweep everything away. And then for my eyes, what am I doing with my eyes now? What should I do with my eyes? What color am I wearing? I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty palette. And also, the It's My Ray Ray palette by Beach Cosmetics. First, I'm going to go in with Friday from the It's My Ray Ray palette right here. Or is that too dark? I'm going to go in with that. I'm going to do that. No, it's called Control Freak. Wow. It's not even that dark. So I'm going to go in with a different color. I'm going to go in with my, the actual contour color in the palette and see what that's giving. Honestly, I don't know what to, what it's giving. Show it over here. 
Oh, it's giving too dark. <laughs> so I'm going to go back in. You know what? We're playing around. It's giving too dark. But I can always blend it out, right? As I said before, we are learning together. We're learning. I'm trying to do this eye stuff. We're learning together. I'm doing everything in circular motions. Circle, circle, circle. I'm just comparing and contrasting, making sure both eyes look the same. We don't need... We need twin sisters, okay? We need twin sisters. Ooh, I like this. This is going good so far. Mm-hmm. Yep. What are we doing next, Alicia? It looks like I didn't do that much, but I, I did. I'm going to go in now with my Huda Beauty palette. This color right here. Ooh, it looks good though. I'm seeing a little something. I'm going to go on over there with my on my eyelid like. And Huda Bo Huda Beauty is very pigmented. I'm zooming something. It's coming out good. Girl, I'm excited. I'm gonna try to do like a not a crust not a cut crease kind of look, but like a soft glam kind of look. You know the soft glam. It is giving. Not even soft glam, because I'm about to add glitter. But let's say sunsets. It's given sunsets. Cool. I'm going to go in with something a little bit lighter right here. Hopefully, I don't mess up my sunset radiation. Where should I put that? Just right here? Just focus it right here. Probably I should have blowed it out first. Zoom on it a little bit because when I tell you Huda Beauty is very pigmented. And then we're just going to brush it out. I mean, circular motions, blend everything together. Ooh, I did that. I did something. At least it. Who? Who? Me. We did that together. Wow. And then I'm going to go in with, of course, this glitter right here. It looks like a rose gold. I'm going to do that in the inner corner. It's officially fall, you guys. Which means all my summer clothes that I didn't get to wear. <laughs> I have a few more. Probably a few more weeks to wear them. So. Let's see what I'm wearing today. It's kind of chilly today. It's like 60 something. So probably I shouldn't. You know what? I'm going to go in with a lighter color. You know what I'm about to go in with? I'm going to go in with my... my highlighter and see if I could just like lighten it up a little bit because I feel like the pink in a corner is kind of throwing it off and I feel like this lighter color probably will just lighten it a little bit hopefully it's in look at the difference it did a little something yeah 
And I'm sorry if I'm so close to the camera. I really cannot see without my glasses. I need to be this close. I'm so sorry. I'm going to find a different way of not trying not to be that close to the camera. But I need to see too. Wow. It looks good. It looks good. Now we're gonna go in with our highlighter, with our highlighting brush. Honestly, I think I might buy another one of this too. From Fenty. Cause I was feeling, I don't really wear makeup all the time like that though. to be honest, but I think this sale comes around like two times out of the year. Did you just see that shine? I just like... I love to shine. Like, that's one thing about me. I love to shine. For my birthday, shiny. I'm shining like one thing about me, I am going to shine <laughs> or have something shiny. Like, I love it. Oh, and let's talk about the new iPhone. I have currently the iPhone X, so I did get the iPhone 13 because I feel like my battery is not, like, there where it needs to really be. So I did get the iPhone 13, and and I do film on my phone, so most likely the video quality will be the bomb. So I can't wait. I'm going to unbox it. Comment below and let me know what color you think I got. Let me know what color you guys think I got. But I ordered it. It's on its way. I would have had it today, but we missed the day by like one day. And then they said that it won't be available until, um, we won't get it until October 1st. So I'm going to be getting my phone and I'm so excited. But the one thing Verizon did do though. Verizon definitely shipped out the box to return my old phone because I, I don't really, like, this phone is not, the battery dies real quick. Like, right now, I have you guys charged, charging right now. The battery dies real quick. It's the one thing about this phone. Like, I could charge this phone so many times in one day. It would just die, like, so many times in one day. The battery is so bad. So hopefully when I get my new phone, I don't have to charge it that much. And the thing is, I don't even be on my phone. Like, I'll be at work. I'll be having to leave my phone on my portable charger in my bag while I'm working. So just my phone is dead. Like, there's nothing more I could do. My phone needs to charge. And then the, the thing is, like... <sighs> it like overheats too like when it's if you're on it while it's charging it'd be like shutting off like honestly I need my other mirror but I love the way my makeup came out it looks good I'm gonna blend this out a little bit more Let me spray everything. Ooh. This is the finished look. What is it giving? It's giving. Let me see. Period. 
period. I just need to get my brows on, child. Girl. Anyways, you guys, like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And definitely comment, you guys. I want to interact. Don't be scared of comment. I know, first of all, let me not say nothing. Because I be scared of comment. Like, <laughs> I be watching my YouTubers, like, my favorite YouTubers, like, Jackie Ina, Kyra, Dominique. I be watching Natasha. I be watching, who else I be watching? I be watching everybody. And I don't be commenting, like, <laughs> I don't be commenting, but yeah. Oh, let me get my lip gloss. So I did pick up lip gloss too. So I have this one, the Lip Injections by Too Faced. That's where I'm gonna put my lip, but in a different color. Um, This color is Secret sauce but this is the color i'm gonna put on actually pink pony but it's in my bag so i'm gonna put that on later but yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more content love you guys Mwah.